self-monitoring, pain during ovulation. You can learn how to determine independently the release of the egg based only on subjective sensation. You feel pain, but do not see with your eyes. The fact is that shortly before ovulation, the follicular vesicle with the egg inside increases in volume up to 18 to 24 millimeters. It presses and bursts in the pain, tingling on the right or left side, depending on which ovary the follicle ripens. Further, after rupture and oocyte release, follicular fluid is poured into the abdominal cavity. It irritates the peritoneum and spinal nerve roots, causing aching and pressing, bursting pain in the lower abdomen, lower back or rectum. From experience, after dozens of times determining ovulation by VBT tests by the nature of CM, I tried to listen carefully to my feelings what I feel before and immediately after the release of the egg. So I learned literally up to an hour to determine if ovulation occurred. Most often, it occurs in the afternoon, in the evening. The tension and swelling of the lower abdomen and pain in the rectum, it means that the follicle burst. On the day before I felt increased humidity and wanted intimacy. All match. If you feel a bursting pain in the lower abdomen, then take active planning as soon as possible. If the previous SI was more than three days ago, most likely you will have a boy. The pain after ovulation usually remitted within one to two days with the end of the fertile period. If you feel nothing, it is possible that you have a high pain threshold and you will not feel anything at the time the egg is released. It's not scary, there are many other inexpensive options. Do not stop trying to listen to yourself, with practice it will come. If not, use the temperature method or saliva ovulation tests or LH test. You can verify the correctness of your calculations after about 14 days from the beginning of your period. I wish you a big fat positive and happy pregnancy.